So we got 36 days, nine hours, 38 minutes and 19 seconds till scraping the coast. This is one of the cars we're trying to get out there. I still have to drop the Suburban. And since we lowered Paige's truck already, oh, Master P, we're gonna have to paint that too, so. All right, so y'all heard in the beginning of the video, getting it off the trail, that was straight headers. Um, this is what it sounds like with an X pipe. All I've gotten on it is the X, it's clamped on, comes down through here. And I just have a set of the next piece where I'm going, these little 90s. Dude, I just wanna know what it sounds like with a straight X pipe. So let's drop this thing down, make it happen here. Just the axe is getting more Corvette by the minute. Do the thing, Pete! the X pipe and we're going to connect to these stock over the axle. There we go. It's two and a half inch manual vent stainless also. And it's already hung. So that's less work I got to do. But now we have to figure out the geometry of getting from this, which isn't really straight. It comes off of this weird little angle. I guess it, it crooked into the stock muffler, but that's on, I don't know, 22 and a half degree angle or so. And that's on a 45. So we're gonna have to cut and piece this thing together. And I wanna try to get just a straight pipe to kind of turn and just follow and then turn in to meet up with it. So I cut these two little 45s off my 90 over there. And I'm gonna just tack, I'm gonna butt weld these to the X pipe, which is gonna keep me close to the drive shaft instead of that longer piece of pipe that's gonna step me farther away. Cause I don't wanna be heating up the floorboard so much. All right, let's take it back out. Best part about V-bands right here. Also, regular drill, not impact. You impact them nuts, strips them out every time. It actually cross threads the nut onto the threaded part. So I made my lines in my pipe and I marked the D and P drivers and passengers instead of left and right, because if it's upside down, you might get confused with it or I might get confused with it. So let me hold these, tack them in place. We'll do a butt weld on them. Just kind of butt them together. It's just a curve and it can send me on my way. I want to let it cool every so often so I don't burn through and uh, it keeps my welds flat, less grinding. I'm not a welder, I'm just learning. Man, I like that. Just weld it a little bit, let it cool. Weld it, let it cool, weld it, let it cool. Is it that little, just repeat that process. Instead of trying to run one fat bead like on regular steel, um, just pop it, pop it, pop it. You can see it in the mask, it, it'll glow and then, well, this, this is working out. A whole lot better than grinding big stuff off. Yeah, that's a way flatter weld. Yeah. Hell, I could live with this. Minimal cleanup. <laughs> Woo! That's all the way around. Cannot wait to buy a TIG. That's the next investment. Dude, that'll work. A little easy flap disc cleanup, not much grinding, and uh, onward to the next piece of pipe.
Yeah, it's windy out here today. It's nice. Great day to be working outside. Oh, it's coming together. Love it when a plane comes together. That's Tony G. Loving it when a plane comes together. So here's the other part of the 45 I cut. Or it was 90s. Here's the other part of the 90s I cut. Now they're 45s. And these 45s have me going back straight. And uh yeah, it had been pointing all back the wrong way. Oh dude, he could do side exhaust just like that. He wants it at the back though. That'd be Cobra R style right underneath the damn kick panel. Man. Nope, he wants it out the back. All right, so I got these. Now it's headed back straight and it's closer to the drive shaft instead of using this style, which would have put me way, no, yeah. This style would have put me way over here underneath the floorboard. Now it's kind of close to the valley. So we're going over the axles now. These are the stock GT ones. They're stainless also, and they're ready to go. I just need to measure the distance of the pipe to go from here to here on both sides, which is going to be equal length. And I'm gonna draw around this with my Sharpie to cut off whatever extra may be in there so I can make sure it's a round seal. And then this is a straight shot. So what I'm going to do, so he has a removable X pipe, is I'm going to weld V bands here also. That way he can drop the X pipe if he needs to take out the 4L60, because it's a 4L60. So that's how it's got to go. Best thing I can do is just hold it and tack it in place and pull it all out and weld it right. And then uh, while it's out, hang out of the V band on it, put it back in and send it. So this pipe sitting in the V band, this pipe sitting in the V band, it's clamped. And that is the angle that I'm looking at to get this X pipe to the back. Got fingers with clearance so that'll never rub or hit, no matter how much the engine shakes around. And uh, I think my plan of action is to weld both of the V bands to the pipes and then up here, whatever it ends up being, is how it's gonna get welded. All these little weird little angles. In the hang. All right, so we got this pipe. Figuring this little stainless welding stuff out with this MIG. Need to get a better machine one day, but I keep saying that. You can do when money's tight. So this is gonna rotate till it fits because of the angles. There we go. That. That's a clamp pipe right there. Yep, that's how it fits the tightest, just like that. That's exactly how I have my pipe up there in the front. So, now he's touching, I can get a hand around everything so all the suspension moves and the pipe wants to vibrate and it still stays together just by the joint. Cool. Put the clamp back on there, tack weld a couple of those, flip flop to this side, Pull it all back down, weld it all, put it all back up. It's a process. All right, I got my screw jack, putting a little pressure up on it. So when I weld it, it'll want to stay more taut and tight to the bottom of the car. Ground clearance issues. So let's go ahead and pop this one on. I think I'm going to stub this other side out and then weld them both at the same time. That makes more sense. Cool, got a game plan together. Dude, we're, we are over the axles in one more pipe. It's still warm. It's got a bit of a curve to it. You spin it and that thing lines right up. Look. 
and the frog's like, bruh. So I'm clamp that on. Now my boy's got a removable X pipe. All right, now I can adjust a little bit of slack here because I got the slip tube over the front. That, that's its natural place where it wants to be, so I'm gonna let it be there. And it is just the same amount off the gas tank on both sides. We are equal length on everything. We're, we're, we're aiming to that vet sound I've been talking about. Mustang, it sounds like a vet, huh? Man, this thing here, I'm gonna crank it up like this before I weld it all up at all. We wanna hear what it sounds like with over the axle pipes. y'all day four and now we're going around the gas tank and out the back so up to now i have everything equal length it's where the mufflers were supposed to go but it's just pipe here we go over the axle right by the gas tank both sides so i'm just gonna kind of 90 this down and route it 90 it again and just come out here same thing on this side come down 90 it and 90 it again come out this way then we'll have two pipes under the bumper and it'll look like it's supposed to but not sound like it's supposed to crazy huh well here's the final pass on the x pipe let's we'll make these tack welds permanent and airtight reinstall it back under the car and then figure out how the pipes are going to run around the gas tank All right, I still got a little bit of grinding left to do on these snot welds from this flux cord MIG welder on this X pipe. But the good news is, is I'm almost out of parts. I just have these two 180s left. So the plan is to lay this on the saw, cut them in half, it's gonna give me two 90s. So when the over the axle pipe comes down, one on 90 around the gas tank, and then one on 90 out to the back. Cut these in half and get this thing wrapped up. Can't wait to hear it with full length pipes. With the X pipe reinstalled, ground, done with that, now I can start going over well, it's over the axle. It's not gonna start going around the gas tank and we're out the back. So this was a 180 and now it's, you know, 290s. So I wanna give Ryan the option of a straight pipe or a muffler. So I'm gonna run this, this way around the tank and I need to cut this so it runs and they meet up. Cause once you get it to here, and it's away from the shock, then I can get it to here and get it out the back. So here we are on this passenger side and I got it, you know, kind of figured out here, here, got a, if I could pass a hand, I'm good. Gets kind of close to the shock and I need to turn this this gas tank's got a little angle to it before it straightens out. So I'm gonna kind of get it turned right through here. And uh, this is the hardest part. Drop passenger side's gonna be a whole lot easier than this driver's side is. It's pretty much just come down, do a 90, and do a 90, and roll out the back. So I didn't film a whole lot of this because it's really hard to show you. All you're really gonna see is my arms, but 
the fucking this is the part that was cut and the more I rotate it the better it gets to come around this gas tank so they keep in mind I got this angle to deal with also and to get this here rotated enough and it gets away from the tire and at the same time pulls this back into away from the gas tank so I won't know the angle on this one until I get the muffler in but now I have to mark a line and a line take it all back apart which takes a whole lot of time and I really wish I could show you everything I'm doing but just to let you know I'm piecing this together and spinning my angles to make it come around it's the best way I can describe it So we got plenty of clearance now. I'm trying to get it back here through that hanger at the back. So the driver's side is done. The whole pain in the ass is done. The passenger side ain't gonna be so bad. I'll show you all that next. But I'm trying to hide that SLP. I guess I don't want that muffler as close to the rear as I can get. Cause the muffler closer to the back means more of that Corvette sound we're looking for. Everything's tight. We got hand around everything. I, nothing's close. It's all right through there. So this side, I have to cut about an inch off and I can just drop a 90 straight over. And I have more room over here between the tire and the gas tank without having that 45 that was here. I can just 90 straight off. Which means we're just about done in here with and without mufflers. This is great. So now that this is cut, the idea is to pretty much just after I clean it up, that goes like this, and one more goes out the back. Done and done. And I'm just gonna kinda eyeball this the best I can. This is sitting nice and flat on my pipe, and I am an equal length away from the back of everything. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, while well, I'm happy with how this feels, it looks like 90 degrees to the tire right there. I'm gonna draw one line on this to here, and where they meet up at, is where I'm gonna weld it. So like the other side, lots of in and out. That's the only way to get it right. So this pipe hung where the other one sits. It's in its factory hole. Oh, almost dropped it. The muffler's gonna go the other way around because that's the side that's gonna be on the slip fit. And I'm gonna end up cutting this off. So I just need to kind of judge where to cut this at. So I'm clear with the tire and with the gas tank. It looks about right there. That guy. Use my helpful uh, piece of bailing wire here to hold the muffler. The muffler's backwards. It's going to be flipped around, but it doesn't really matter. It's a straight flow through muffler. But that's going to help me hold the height that needs to be and guess where this has to go so I can mark my line. That way I can weld it one time and be done with that. Put a clamp on, see how close it is. That. Man, that look, that is look, you could bruh, I'm just saying. I got the same distance, both sides, just like the other side. And that pipe is trajecting straight to the hanger. Should do the same as that one. Previous owner went ahead and flattened them out for me, so I got more room up here. And I have bent these back into shape so they're not perfectly round, but as long as I can get them on there and they'll clamp. 
That's it. That's just like the other side on a slight angle to the corner of the bumper and everything. For a universal kit, if I can do it, you can do it. Even what a 24 year old welding machine. <laughs> yeah. So now I have the SLP loudmouth mufflers clamped onto the car. Um, they're just about even as you can get. They're clamped on and we're gonna put it on the ground and hear what some SLP loudmouths with a two and a half inch X pipe to Chevy motor. Sounds like a vet in a Ford. SLP two and a half inch X pipe loudmouth muffler 4.8 Mustang GT. So the only thing I got left is to put the hangers on for the mufflers themselves and put whatever tips he wants on the car. And for bonus, I'm just gonna make some pipes for some muffler delete. So when he wants to go out to cruise and a scrape and an act a fool, they're gonna hear him. It's gonna be bad. Thank y'all for watching. I appreciate it. Check out my channel, check out my playlist, get it caught up if you're new and wanna see what else I've been doing. Catch y'all next time. Later.